before we go and go ahead and play some Apex Legends, we have to talk about something here. Today, what we're actually going to do is I'm going to make a tier list reviewing all the Apex Legends, ranking them based on the fact of whether I could beat them in a fight or not. Imagine it like this. It's a one on one on the octagon. Punches are allowed. Kicking is allowed. Grappling is allowed. But what's not allowed is armor or gear. OK, just to make sure I want to clear the water with you guys. I want to clear the water so that you guys understand that I'm not talking out of my butt. I'm not making things up. And just to prove it to you guys, let me go and pull up this 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 thing I got here. OK, let me just pull up this old as heck picture that I got. But this is me. OK, I actually used to be a black belt in karate. So I kind of know what I'm talking about when I'm talking when I'm like evaluating this, whether I could beat someone in a fight or not, I, I can have a pretty interesting standard, you know? All right. So starting off with Bangalore, I want to put Bangalore, believe it or not, I want to put Bangalore at slight minus one. The reason I want to put a Bangalore at slight minus one is because Bangalore has military training, is actively training in military tactics as we speak. I could probably get some work done, but I still would never consider this as even, you know. Bloodhound, Master Tracker, Hunter. So that gives them an advantage in terms of like fighting experience, so they know how to fight. But unfortunately, I would say even. I feel confident in my abilities to take on Bloodhound one-on-one -on -one and give it my best, you know, give it my absolute best. You know, it's not formal military combat training. It is hunter trackering skill, which has the advantage probably if we're gonna fight in the wild, they could have experience with fighting huge monsters, but that doesn't mean that they're actually good in a one-on-one. -on -one. You know, it's two completely separate categories. It means that you're physically built to handle these fights, but do you have the experience? Do you have the combat experience? That's what you gotta look for when you look when you're trying to evaluate this. So caustic, 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 you take away the gas mask, and it's like Bane. You know when Batman and the Dark Knight Rises just starts punching Bane in the face and then his little gas thing starts leaking it out and he's like, ah, ah, my face. I, I would probably do that to Caustic, I'm not gonna lie. You know, take away the gas, take away the stinks, take away the farts, and Caustic is really just a, a washed up middle-aged man. A scientist, no even, so. Uh, this is an easy win for me, not gonna lie. The only thing that I would say he has going for him, he has like that evil nature, you know, like like that just evil nature that gives you an advantage in combat. I feel like that's probably what he has. So maybe not even easy win. Maybe I would probably say it put him at advantage. He steps in the ring and he's like, you know, that finisher he does where he just walks. He's like, that that is scary. That, that's freaking scary. All right. So he's got that crypto. We gotta talk about crypto. I'm sorry, crypto. I I'm sorry. You could be the world's greatest hacker. You could be amazing at tracking people. The little freaking robot that follows you around. But uh, let's be honest here for a quick second. You're just some guy. Crypto really is just some guy. <laughs> Everything about him is like in his brain, but he's only good. He's just some dude. He's like Iron Man. You take away the suit. What are you? Just some dude. Like nothing about him just makes him special. He's just some dude. Okay, now Fuse is also a middle-aged man, somewhat in the same lines as Caustic, but the guy is battle-hardened, okay? Fuse is battle-hardened. You can tell that he's actually been in a couple of fights. He's actually won a couple of fights. His whole personality is about being a, a ruffie and a bad boy. This is actually the one fight I'd be most interested in seeing. I'm gonna put him at even. I really legit. 100% would love to fight Fuse because it's like the the old heart battle hardened wolf that has all the scars versus the young blood that's trying to challenge the domain. That That's how I feel about it. You know, like he has that unhinged factor to him, but I, I don't think I don't think it's like Bangalore level. Bangalore's an operator. I mean, well, Fuse is sort of like a lot like a like a loose cannon. OK, now Gibraltar, Gibraltar, Gibby, Gibby Gibraltar. There's no contest. 100% there's no contest. <laughs> when you're built the way Gibraltar's built, you don't need combat experience. Like, everything you see on the movies is a lie, dude. Everything you see in the movies is a lie. The man literally just has to wait for you to, like, throw a punch or something, and then he just grabs you, and then just, like, he just sleeps. Just body slams. That's it. Like, he's not gonna get tired. He's not gonna get tired. He's not gonna... Your, your punches are not gonna do anything. You're gonna get steamrolled, and there's nothing to say about it. 100%. You're just gonna get steamrolled. All right, Horizon. Ah. 
I refuse to fight Horizon. I, I refuse. I just can't bring myself to do it. I, I, I really can't. I would get into the ring with Horizon and get the crap beat out of me, to be fair. If I was a cold-hearted killer, this would be an easy win, 100%. But I just can't bring myself to raise arms against Horizon. I really can't. So, lifeline. Advantage. 100% advantage. There's something about uh, a drummer. Whenever I see a drummer, I feel like this drummer probably knows how to fight. And I feel like I can still take on her uh, lifeline pretty easily. But there's something about her that's going to catch me off guard. Unlike Crypto. You know, Crypto is just like some dude. Some dude versus a drummer combat medic. Okay, there's a difference. Now, Loba... I want to say slight minus one, mainly because I've seen her fight. You've seen her finishers. You've seen how acrobatic she can be. So you know the way she moves. And after you see her finisher and the way she steps on you, I, I think to a certain degree, you kind of want to get stepped on by, by Loba. But I don't know how I feel about that. Like after you see her finisher in game, you, your, your curiosity sparks and you're like, how would it feel if this actually happened to me? You kind of just want to like get hit a couple of times just to see if you feel something. But by the time you realize that it's actually not as cool as you thought it was, it's already too late because you've taken one too many hits and you're already on the ground. Uh, Mirage. Mirage is getting an easy win. You know, you've seen the lore. Mirage is not a fighter by any means. And without his hollow suit, it's just like Crypto. Without the hollow suit, Mirage is just some dude. Yeah, he he depends solely on the hollow suit and his personality traits, which are not seen in the ring, you know? He can't just char charisma himself out of a fight. He's gonna, he's gonna get the... The bejeebies kicked out of him. Octane, I, I would definitely put at even. You know, because he's smaller build, he's short, but again, just like Caustic, he has like the crazy factor, but he has the crazy factor and he's also young. That's the difference between him and Caustic. He's got the crazy factor, but he's also he's also filled with youth. So that one advantage I felt like I had over Caustic, I just don't see it here. He still has like a pretty solid build frame. He's, he's pretty short, but he's like muscular. He's muscular short. He's like slender short and you never know. He might actually he might actually right before we enter the octagon. He might want to give himself a stim and that could totally catch me off guard. Pathfinder, I'm getting steamrolled. You have a boxing robot, which is, by the way, a robot which has no pain receptors, which is the size of a refrigerator. He's a robot, which, by the way, is made of metal. <laughs> so a metal boxing refrigerator. What exactly what are you going to do there? Like, you really have no choice. I, don't, I know I've never been punched by a robot, but I, I can imagine a punch from a robot, a boxing robot nonetheless, is gonna hurt like crap. Okay, so Rampart. I, I don't know how to put Rampart. I, I really don't know how to, how to like, uh, I want to say easy win. She's an inventor, she's a mechanic, but it, again, it just goes back to like the crypto, the crypto theory. Without your technology, Without your ability to create things on the fly, you're gonna get destroyed. And Battleheart and Steven would kick the crap out of Rampart, respectfully, in a one-on-one -on -one fight in the Octagon. And now Revenant. Revenant wouldn't even show up to the match. You know that when you're nervous, you get like those, those stomach rumblies? I would be in the toilet b before the match starts. And then as I'm taking the paper up to wipe and I look up to the to the ceiling, there's Revenant staring at me and it was like hanging from the roof upside down. It's like his head all, is all twisted. And it's, as soon as I look at him, he just drops down and it's like, just a dit, that's it. There's no chance, I'm dead. And then people find me in the toilet a couple of hours later and Revenant is just like nowhere to be seen. He doesn't even have to fight. He doesn't even have to get in the ring to beat me. I'm dead. There's no competition. Now Seer. Seer. I don't know much about Seer other than that he's a pop star and I eat pop, -tar pop tarts for breakfast and pop tarts kind of sound like pop star. So pop tart, pop star, Seer's getting destroyed. Like he's got, that, he again, he's got that slim slender build like Octane. But Octane has a crazy factor, and the crazy factor is a imagine imagine how big the crazy factor is that goes from easy win to even. But Seer's getting destroyed, no matter what. Valkyrie, huh? This one's a tough one. I think I want to put Valkyrie at an advantage. Strictly speaking, I think I would be able to beat Valkyrie in an octagon fight one on one. I would feel like I could be able to beat Valkyrie while having an advantage in the fight. I, I think this is the best place to put her. I just just put her there, stick her there. Uh, Watson. I'm getting steamrolled. The, sa the same with Horizon. I dare not raise my fists against uh, a Watson in an octagon arena in a 1v1. She would happily 
beat the living <laughs> the living turd out of me and i would probably let her because i just can't I, just, I can't bring myself to hit watson i really can't she's everything that brings me happiness in this world i can't bring myself to hurt her and now for the last one, Wraith. This is what this is the one I've been dreading for the most. Like I said, you go into the arena, but you don't go with equipment, and her portals are not equipment. If she's having a good day, it'll be even. If she's having a bad day, I'm going to the Shadow Realm and never coming back. Like, I, I, that's it. One of her finishers literally just opens a portal and throws people in. It's just like, I'm just gonna assume that she's in her A game, ready to ready to pounce, and that's why I'm putting her under death. Like, she's I'm getting sent to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> That's it. Uh, she's sending me to the Shadow Realm and I'm never coming back. So here, here's the completed tier list. What do you guys think?